going to explain a project developed in Cardiff University whose aim is to create a methodology uh, in order to motivate engineering students and <coughs> towards the working world. Uh, this project is born with, um, from the well-known mismatch between what's then at university and what companies really require. Of course, it's crucial for an engineer to know technical knowledge, formula, theorems, calculation, etc. But in today's competitive world, companies also require uh, some other um, professional skills, such as teamwork, conflict solving, uh, leadership, etc. A study uh, carried out in Paragos University has shown that many of the recently graduated engineers lack on some of these uh, professional skills, especially working under pressure, initiative, leadership, and surprisingly, specific technical knowledge. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> also, uh, a study done in Jamaica First University uh, has shown that many engineering students feel uh, quite unmotivated because uh, they don't know <coughs> that in the practical application on the theoretical content they learn. So they just think, okay, uh, I'm not going to need this mathematics when I'm an engineer. So in the end, they don't internalize all this complex knowledge. The main objective we want to achieve with the methodology consists of teaching students for the working world, using progress down from the real industry in order to increase the motivation using useful knowledge for the future work and, and later subject in the degree. Show them what are the main problems they can find when they, they will work and how to with them. And last, transmit them a global vision of how working work works. Uh, to solve all the issues described for a group of teachers and collaborating students from Cardiff University has joined to create a team project called Engaging Second and Third Year Subjects in Product Design Engineering. Uh, we are going to talk about product design engineering because we belong to that context, but anyway, this methodology uh, can be implemented in any other engineering studies or even um, not engineering studies. <laughs> um, the aim of the project is to help students um, develop professional skills while being able to interrelate the different subjects of the degree because every subject has a, a, is interconnected to the other ones and also to increase the motivation. Uh, in order to achieve this, uh, our methodology uh, has the following basis. Teamwork and individual work because an engineer is going to work as a part of a team but also will have to face um, individual challenges. The continuity of knowledge uh, which basically means that what I learned last year is going to be useful for me this year and what I'm learning this year is going to be useful for me uh, next year. Discipline and attachment to deadlines, transmission of ideas to other colleagues, the usage of work tools uh, in terms of using the software that uh, engineers are using in companies, actual software, not software from maybe 10 years ago, uh, autodidactic learning, interrelation of different ideas and concepts and most importantly uh, students are going to face <coughs> problems and exercises which are based on real and real and current industrial projects uh, so they will face uh, project, um, so they will have to solve issues that they might find once they are engineers who are currently working <coughs> It doesn't matter what type of higher educational study it is, we can apply this methodology to all of them. And to identify the need of building bridges between working and university, the first step we did was introducing this methodology to the university, with the aim to form a team of professors interested in this methodology. Once this group was coordinated, Carlos uh, and I uh, organized a meeting of students in order to know their conference. This meeting came in handy to collect the <coughs> information. Instance, most of the students think they need more practical knowledge and less abstract concepts. 
After that, the second step we did was uh, prepare the teaching material. Using map of content, please, please next. Using com map of concept, we use this from my mind step. We establish common <coughs> points and connection among the subject. We um, on the involve the subject of the of the project. After that, we share this map content with the students, and this this was helpful for them to know what content they they need to know before attending these classes, and what are the content. They have, they will have learned after um, finishing the or after passing this this subject. Then, when we finish uh, this step, uh, we <coughs> design different exercises using ordinary objects. For this example, we use a closed line, and to resolve this problem, a student needs knowledge of different subjects. For for example, they need a system of materials that or which studies the behavior of the material when you apply a load in them. <coughs> material science, which studies uh, physical and chemical properties of the materials, <coughs> and thus a uh, computer aids design. In this way, uh, students must apply previous <coughs> and coherent concepts that they have learned during the degree. Being that closer to the, to the real problem they, they will find when they, they, will, work, they will work. The preparation of global projects between subjects doesn't only help the students uh, to learn how to interrelate mm -hmm. different uh, subjects or concepts, but also to develop their professional skills while learning and feeling more motivated. Uh, some of the professional skills that are developed are, for instance, um, teamwork, because the students are going to work as a part of a three, four people team and they will have to learn to negotiate, to um, uh, listen to other from different points of view, etc. Also leadership, as um, there's going to be one leader per subject and the team leader will know how to manage the team, and how to increase the team motivation, how to negotiate, etc. And transmission of ideas, as uh, every team will have to explain the rest of the class what they have done <coughs> um, conflict resolution because not everyone thinks alike, so the team members will have to learn how to dialogue with the other members um, peacefully. The interrelation of different ideas and different knowledge learned in different subjects because, as he said before, uh, all the projects um, are going to require knowledge learned from different subjects such as uh, uh, computer aided design or resistance of materials. Um, discipline on working under pressure. All the projects are going to be divided into different delivery phases that the students, our team, uh, are going, uh, must respect otherwise they will get a penalization. Uh, the same way that if an engineer doesn't commit to the deadlines, uh, the company will lose money and maybe that engineer will get fired. And lastly, but for me, the icing on the cake, um, teachers are not going to provide a strict guidelines uh, to tell the students what to do because we don't want that engineers uh, just um, follow steps. You know, in many cases, students just think, okay, I need to follow these steps and then I will get my mark. We don't want that, but we want uh, teachers to be a guidance so students can make their own decisions, their own mistakes, try to innovate and take the initiative of the project. Mm. I uh, oh, yeah. And also we want the students to feel curious and um, develop a self-teaching ability to learn beyond what's explained in class. Since this methodology was implemented in 2017-2018, we don't have yet concrete results, um, but uh, quite positive feedback from students. And similar, similar methodologies have been implemented in the University of Florida or University of North Carolina and have reported benefits such as um, students 
can give a sense to what they study, uh, know and learn how to interrelate all these different matches and concepts they learn during the degree. Uh, the students know what's the aim, what's the purpose to what they learn, so they feel more motivated. <coughs> and also, um, and importantly, <coughs> companies uh, require less money and less time to prepare uh, their, um, their engineers, their uh, new engineers. And lastly, uh, in students can improve professional skills the same time they learn um, and they get motivated. So we think that that's quite positive. So that was all.